Hey everyone, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and we're just going to be updating a, a chart that I made a couple months ago that got a lot of attention. So if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and like the video. And also feel free to check out the Telegram and Discord channel in the description below. Um, I am starting to get a little sick here, so hopefully I can make it through the video. Um, so I just wanted to remind everyone, I, made, I published this video here um, on November 24th, 2019, so a little over two months ago. And the idea was that we fit this logarithmic regression line and then gave ourselves um, you know, a little bit of tolerance as a general guide to potentially buying Bitcoin. Noting that in the past, if you had bought in this band, it historically would have worked out well for you if you had just um, you know, held it for, for a few months. Um, obviously, you know, buying up here and up here um, at the first market cycle peak, the second and the third, you'd have to wait a lot longer. So by identifying the, you know, this, the, the times when the price comes into this band, it can, you know, it can help you in terms of your time value of the money you have invested in cryptocurrency. Um, but again, this is not financial advice. This is just how I um, have looked at, looked at Bitcoin price data. So let's update this because, you know, I, I create a lot of charts um, for Bitcoin especially and I don't really do a, a great job of giving you guys updates. So I wanted to just kind of update where we are now in this logarithmic regression band. So remember, this is just the price of Bitcoin. I've also made this um, uh, a dark background since I know a lot of people prefer that. So uh, we have a dark background. The price is this white line, and note that price is on a logarithmic scale. Now, we've highlighted in the past that, you know, there's certain points that seem like they are, you know, following this primary logarithmic regression curve, and that we have bubbles that pop up each time. Now, I've seen, you know, I've seen different people say there's no correlation here, um, but it's because they're, you know, they're trying to rationalize you know, um, irrational price behavior. But if you if you remove that noise, it actually does make a lot of sense. And you know, we tried to fit this data as best we could. So um, you can see this logarithmic regression line that goes through the the times when I you know I would say we're not in a bubble, even though that is somewhat arbitrary, I admit. Um, and then we gave ourselves a tolerance level to say, okay, well, you know, we don't always. Um, we're not always right on that line, but if we we're just buying Bitcoin for dollar cost averaging, just any time we're in this line, then it's probably good enough in terms of identifying good buy-in points for at least the current market cycle. Now, there's evidence that eventually we might drop below this line because in the first, you know, over here in the first cycle, we're, we're kind of above it. In this one, we're kind of in the middle part of it. And over here, we've dropped down to the middle. Um, but again, if we were just to go sideways, even at $10,000, um, say for the next year, then we, you know, we'd start to go to the bottom of it. So remember, because the primary logarithmic regression band is constantly increasing, the price could stay constant and still drop down on that band. So, um, like I showed in the video, in the video we were, you know, we were around this point over here. We were coming down. And exactly, we, we came exactly down to this um, primary logarithmic regression band. We've, you know, we've bounced off of it. But we are still currently in this, you know, this phase where, you know, I, I would say for me at least, I would keep dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. Um, that doesn't mean that the price can't come back down. But, you know, I'm not operating this channel as a way or a, a guide for people to day trade. It's more for the longer term, the macro level investors, you know, that have day jobs, they have families. And, you know, we just want to identify, you know, good price points to get in, you know, to hold for, say, you know, a couple a couple years before we start exiting our position. So, you know, if as long as as long as we're in this band, um, I'm typically still dollar cost averaging. Now, you know, the risk level, if you haven't seen the risk videos, um, check those out. The risk level, you know, is, is around, um, uh, it, it's, it's a little over 0.4 or so. Um, so still, if you're, if you're moderately, if you're moderately, um, buying Bitcoin as opposed to say more conservative or more aggressively, then this would still fall into your, your potential buys. So again, um, we have not come out into this phase where I would consider ourselves to be in any type of bubble. 
you can see that we've doubled several times. Um, even in even in 2019, we saw ourselves come out of this regression band um, and bubble. And, and this is where you would want to at least start dollar cost averaging your sales. That doesn't mean you need to sell everything. A lot of people have the idea that you dollar cost average your buys, but they forget that you can dollar cost average your sales. And instead, what they do is they just pull the trigger on their entire portfolio and they just sell everything. And then they get upset when the price goes up and then they you know they they FOMO back in and then that's when they become the dumb money um, and the smart money just takes advantage of the dumb money and, and you rinse and repeat um, so again uh, you can see we are we're nearing the top of this band um, we'll see if we if we poke above it you can see that in order to get above it you know the price needs to get above ten thousand dollars so you still have a ways to go um, but it's it's not you know it's not impossible for for Bitcoin to get there uh, rather quickly, um, just as the market has has shown us in the past. So keep this in mind um, for this macro level price view of Bitcoin. If you're like me and you're not a day trader and you don't even pretend to you know to to be those people that are supposedly claiming um, you know tons of satoshis every single day because of their amazing trades. Um, then I think this channel is, is really a, a good fit for you if you are, are more focused on macro level um, uh, views. So, you know, we also, I, I do just want to show this for completeness, you know, extending this logarithmic regression band out. And the reason I do is because people often will ask, hey, can you just extend it out? So I've done it in previous videos. If you want to see what it looks like, um, this is what it looks like. Again, I think it's a good indicator for our current market cycle. But, um, you know, clearly as we get more data, we're going to want to uh, refine the fit um, to, to give it to continue to give us good um, predictions as we as we move forward. So um, keep that in mind. Now, this is the is again, it's the price minus the logarithmic regression line, that primary band over the logarithmic regression line. Then it's the absolute value of it. So it, it kind of shows us how we are, you know, generally decreasing here. And so this would correspond to the first peak, the second peak, and the third peak. And this is a, you know, mini bubble in 2019. And you can see we're, we're heading back up this, um, uh, this you know, uh, percent difference in, in a sense. So, you know, consider that we're still, you know, we're still pretty far down here compared to where we were in 2019. Um, it doesn't mean we're going to come back up to where we were. Uh, but if we do, then you should, you know, you should be ready for it in the um, in the case that it does happen. So again, I don't claim to know exactly what will happen, but we try to, you know, we try to foster a community that when things do happen, we're prepared and we know what to do at that time. So if that if that appeals to you, then make sure you check out the Telegram and Discord channels in the descriptions below. The Telegram channel is a lot larger than the Discord, just because I'm primarily on Telegram over Discord. But um, we have one of the community members named CB who's, who's running the Discord, and I think he's doing a great job. So if you guys want to check out the Discord, you know, all the videos are in their own categories, and we have chat groups for, you know, different coins. Um, so check that out. Now just for, again, completeness, we've also put, uh, I've put on time on a log scale as well, just so you can kind of see this um, linear uh, relationship on a log log scale so you know we're continuing to move up this and um, you know as uh, only time will tell uh, what we end up doing but again we're gonna be ready for it and if you're if you're curious if you want more content I mean I'm, I'm at this point I'm publishing around one video a day um, sometimes it's two videos a day sometimes it's none um, but if you if that's enough for you then, then great if you want a little bit more content, if you want, say, risk updates, if you want updates like on, on these charts, then check out my Patreon channel. It's just patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. And I have different tiers. And if you just want to sign up for the $30 tier a month, it's just you get patron only updates, a patron only chat room, and you get um, uh, a subscription to Bitcoin Letters, which is a quarterly report that will come out. Um, and it's already come out in January, um, the first edition for free, so go ahead and check that out. Um, and I'll link it here at the end of the video at least, at least the YouTube video referencing it, and you guys can go check out the article. So I hope that is informative for everyone. I hope this is a good update and that people appreciate these updates. Um, 
let me know what you guys think about these black backgrounds. I think most people like them. Uh, one of the primary concerns that we had was the, the line width not being large enough to see, especially on mobile devices. So let me know if, if these price, if these lines are, are wide enough for you to see. Um, and if not, I can, I can try to make those wider. Um, so again, uh, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give it a thumbs, thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.